everybody, welcome. We are here today at the amazing Dolphin Hotel, Walt Disney World Dolphin Resort, because we are trying out for the very first time ever, the Rosa Mexicano restaurant, um, which looks super bougie for Mexican, I'm gonna be honest. It looks pretty bougie. So, I don't know, we'll see. We're not really bougie people, so I don't know if we're gonna like it, but um, we're gonna find out today. So come along with us, it should be a lot of fun. But also, it's probably gonna be pretty expensive. All right, let's talk a little bit about Rosa Mexicano. Uh, we're big fans of Mexican food. Huge fans, so we love it. But um, not a huge fan of paying lots of money for Mexican food, unless it's really, really good. So we're gonna find out. But this particular place says it's a fiesta of flavor and it's elevated Mexican food. They say Rosa Mexicano offers elevated fiesta. So I don't know what that means, but I, I have a feeling it means more expensive Mexican food. But interesting thing about Rosa Mexicano is actually was created and founded in New York City. Um, there's one at Lincoln Center. There's other locations all around New York. There's also some in other states as well. I saw that there was one in Pennsylvania. There's one in the city of Boston. I think there was one in Maryland, maybe Maine. Um, a couple of different locations. And then there's one here at the Walt Disney World Dolphin Resort. And one thing about the Swan and Dolphins, they are not owned by Disney. And so a lot of the like discounts that you would get normally from a Disney restaurant or Disney uh, properties, you don't get here. They don't offer any of that stuff here. So even though they call Walt Disney World's Swan and Dolphin Resorts, they're not really part of Disney World. Although they do have some of the stuff like early entry, I think. I don't know if they still have it. They used to, but I don't know if they do. Uh, and they have like transportation and things like that, but you don't get the discount. So just to know ahead of time, and we did check with the restaurant, they don't give any discounts either. The restaurant was founded by Josefina Howard. Um, she basically founded this in 1984 in New York City says she was the first person to introduce uh, elevated or refined di uh, Mexican foods in New York City. Now they do have breakfast here, they have lunch and dinner. We're doing dinner tonight, so I'm excited to check it out. Um, just from walking by, some of the decor looks really cool. It looks kind of swanky in there. It looks really interesting. I do want to mention, you definitely want to get a reservation. They do take walk up, but when we came through here, um, there was a lot of people waiting out front. Um, and thankfully we had a reservation. All right, so let's head on in. Our reservation's ready. My wife says she's already in there and ready to go. Um, she did say that there was there were so many people waiting outside and when she gave them our name um, and they said, oh, we'll have your table ready in just a minute. Somebody, uh, a lot of people were mad. Like the, the hostesses were literally looked like they were about to cry. And she said, that a couple of people came up to her and were like, did you have a reservation or something? Why are you getting seated so fast? And she was like, yeah, I had a reservation. And they were like, well, they told me that they don't do reservations. We're like, I don't know, they do reservations. So you definitely want to get a reservation at that restaurant um, before you try to come. You can do, you can do, you know, walk up, but they were quoting people like a two hour wait. So I'm glad we got a reservation. So my first impressions of this restaurant is it's super swanky, I feel like. Um, I love the, de the decor, it's so cute. Um, I see Frida, pictures of Frida. Um, I've seen like three um, around the restaurant. It, and another um, first impression is it's loud. It's so loud in here. Um, but it's fine, I, I'm still enjoying it, but that's just one thing. Hopefully you can hear me, <laughs> it's loud in here. So let's take a look at the menu. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's got like a hard cover. I mean, it, this is like hard. Like. Uh, it's not bending at all. Um, and each one of these pages is like some sort of like bendable plastic. Uh, but they've got um, a lot of wines, beers, from uh, a lot of different choices there. Handcrafted cocktails, margaritas, but let's take a look at the food. So they have a guacamole made table side um, since 1984, which is when this place was founded in New York City. They have the classic guacamole. Which also, by the way, you get free chips and salsa. I don't know why it says it comes with chips and salsa because you get that by default. Um, but basically you get the guacamole and then they have a double order of guacamole for 32. Then it says top it off, which is like three different versions of how you can top off your guacamole with this like pineapple or bacon and cotija cheese or crab meat. Or you can do a guacamole tasting where you try all three of those for $36. So. 
I don't know, those sound kind of weird. I'm not sure about that. They have some ceviche, which I'm not a big fan of, but they do have a lot. Let's take a look at the starters. Ahi tuna, tacos. Man, they have a lot of stuff on their menu. I'm just going to kind of scan through it. they got chicken flautas, yum. Um, and then we've got quesadillas, queso, Caesar salad. On to the main dishes, roasted half chicken, salmon, carnitas, ribeye. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Ooh, down here it says Rosa's Signature Crispy Crackling Pork Chop for Two. Ooh, that sounds interesting. And then they have this um, periadas. Periadas is what he, uh, what he said, I think. And this is basically like for two, four, or six people, but I think you get like this big platter with a bunch of different meats on it. So for two people, you get chicken, sausage, and steak, and then it comes with all this stuff. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of like fajitas, maybe. Um, I don't know. comes with a bunch of stuff. You can do some a la carte. Oh, it looks like the six-person one comes with shrimp and short ribs. And then a la carte, they have a few things here. That looks like the same stuff that was on the board. We got some enchiladas on here with, ooh, beef brisket, chihuahua cheese. Sounds interesting. Oh, and they have an enchilada tasting. Pick three of your favorites. All right, coming into the home stretch, we got tacos. Several different kinds of tacos, actually. Um, and then some sort of like braised Angus beef version. It says you get three tacos per order, so a few different kinds. And then a bunch of sides. Black beans, rice, fried rice with chorizo, fried egg, bacon, corn, black beans, scallions, cilantro, tomato, and chilies. Hmm. Um, plantains. Yeah, it's a pretty big, big menu. As I mentioned when I was going through the menu, you already get chips and salsa, but we definitely need some salt on these chips because there does not look like there is any salt on these chips at all. And I like salt. Oh, this is like powdery salt. That's good. Um, and the salsa looks pretty good. Um, smells pretty good. I don't know. It's not like super red, so hopefully it's not too tomatoey for her. Um, but we also ordered the table side guac. So the table side guac. Um, so whenever that comes, we'll see um, how they make it. I did read online where it says that the style that they do it here does not use lime, so there's no acid. Um, so I'm a little bit unsure as to whether it's going to be good because of the lack of acid. I think that really adds a lot to guacamole, but I figured we'd give it a try, and we'll see. Um, what they say, but um, if it's any good, we'll find out. I'm gonna give the chips and salsa a try. It looks super thick, um, which I'm a fan of. I don't know if she likes that so much, but I like thick salsa. And hopefully it's not too spicy. I'm waiting. Sometimes I don't think it's spicy, and then it like creeps up on me, and I'm like, oh. it's not bad. It's actually about the perfect spice. It's like not too spicy, but it's enough spice where it doesn't just taste like super tomatoey. It's got a nice little kick to it. I like the texture of it. I like the thickness of it. Definitely needs some more salt on these on these chips though. There's like no salt. And no like lime or lemon or anything on the chips. So it needs some love. Yum. He's making uh, table side guac. Fresh. Man, that's a big stone bowl there. Big stone bowl. So, so far I saw avocado and then cilantro, jalapeno, some onion and tomato. I wonder if there will be anything else. Let's watch. Let me throw a little extra in for some more flavor. And then we add tomato at the end. So I just tried the salsa. Um, I like it. It has a, some spice to it, which I'm happy about. And I do like thick salsa. Not thick tomato chunks, which this doesn't have. Um, it's just kind of a thick salsa all the way around, which I do like. And I'm so glad it's spicy. Um, and he brought over and made our table side walk. Um, he came over with a cart, and it was right away after we ordered it. Um, and he had all of his ingredients and was adding it all. Um, 
I am a little worried, just like Steve said, that there's no lime or lemon or anything in it. Um, to, so hopefully it's good. We got a giant thing of it. I thought we only ordered the single, but for some reason I think they might have given us the double. Because if not, this is huge. <laughs> so I'm going to try it. He put a lot of tomatoes in it, so I'm trying to avoid some of them. Um, there's a lot of tomatoes. But Steve will like that. Um, so the guacamole is good. I didn't say it was great. Um, I like it, um, but it definitely needs lime. I like my guacamoles with lime. Um, even at Chipotle, I love Chipotle's guacamole. I feel like theirs is the best. But even theirs, I'll add some like red hot salsa just to have a little bit more flavor. Um, so this is good, and I will be eating it. Um, but it definitely needs lime. It's missing it. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that, that that was going to happen, that was going to be the case. It's just got to have lime. But we'll see. There's also like not a lot of salt. He did say that they add kosher salt to it, but we'll see how this goes. I don't know. Yeah, the flavor of it's pretty good, but it's just kind of bland. Um, if I was Robert Irvine, I would say that nothing has any seasoning so far. <laughs> like the chips don't really have any seasoning. The guacamole doesn't taste like it has much seasoning in it. It just really tastes like mashed up avocados with a little bit of onions in it. I don't really even taste the tomatoes or anything, so it's just okay. But they do give you a lot, but they should too because it's like, what, $18 or something? It's pretty expensive. So we ended up getting the Periatas for two. Uh, it was $69 uh, for two people, uh, the way it comes. And it comes with um, a red chili chicken, a grilled chorizo sausage, and a 10-ounce certified Angus beef New York strip. And I did ask them, I said, um, could I get shrimp instead of the chorizo? Because I'm not a huge fan of sausage or chorizo. And so they said, yes, it would just be the difference in the cost between the shrimp and the chorizo. I think the chorizo was like $12 and the shrimp was like $24. So we're going to pay like a $12 upcharge or something to have the shrimp instead of the chorizo. Um, it also comes with, it uh, says, freshly made corn tortillas, roasted onions, um, something I can't pronounce, cheese stuffed jalapeno, charred tomato, salsa, pico de gallo, guacamole which we already have lots of salsa and guacamole, so we're going to get more. And then we also ordered two sides of sour cream, and we get rice and beans, and we said, can we have all rice instead of beans? It's kind of expensive. It's 69 bucks plus $12 upcharge for the shrimp, so we're at about, like, what, $81 or something for two, so it's about 40 bucks a person. It's not too bad, I guess, but it is Mexican food, so my expectations are that this Mexican food's going to rock because we're paying 40 bucks per person plus the guacamole we got, which is another 20 so... It's going to be over $100 for this bill uh, for Mexican food, so it better be really good. So our peri periatas came out um, pretty quickly, actually. Um, but the steak was raw. Rare. It was rare. I don't even think it was medium. It was rare. Um, or medium rare. And I like my steak well done. Um, very well done, actually. But nobody, we didn't think to say anything, and nobody asked. All right, well, our food just hit the table, and it looks really good. Um, I'm really surprised by this giant jalapeno, like, popper things. I don't know. Those look scary to me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't know that I'm going to try those. Those look scary. Um, and there's, like, big, huge, like, onions in here, and there's a lot of the beef. The beef is definitely well done now. I mean, it looks nice and charred. I think you're going to like it. I'll probably like it, too. The shrimp are huge. They have some sort of sauce on them, but honestly, besides the little bit of sauce, they don't look like they have a lot of seasoning, so I'm a little bit worried that they're not going to have a lot of flavor. Just on their appearance, we'll find out. And then the chicken looks pretty good, but also looks super, super charred and well done chicken. Even though we didn't ask for well done chicken, I feel like it's well done. So I kind of feel like what they did is they took the food back, recooked it, like heated it up, and then kind of threw it. This is a different skillet than the first one they brought out, isn't it? I feel like the first one was like a like a rectangle shape, and this is like a circle, and then they kind of like dumped it into the skillet, which is fine. I don't want them to waste food, but I feel like the presentation isn't as nice as it would have been as it first came out, and it looks a little bit like thrown together. And I'm wondering if the chicken is now overcooked because we went we got the meat overcooked, so we'll, or we got the meat well done. We will find out. I thought the chicken looked charred um, when they first brought it out, so to me it looks the same as it did because I was thinking it looked good when they brought it out. So I'm going to go ahead and try the chicken. I dipped it in my sour cream. I 
I like it. I definitely taste the charred flavor, which I like charred flavor. So we'll see if Steve likes it. As you can see, the steak is really well done, but that's the only way I like steak. So I'm gonna try it. It's good. And I can tell they just like got done cooking it because it's hot, like temperature hot. It's really good to me. I don't know what kind of steak it is. Is it plank steak again? I'm not it's sure. New York strip. I think it's good. They didn't give us a lot of sour cream, so I'm trying to be a little bit, um, to save a little bit, but I think it's really good. I'm not going to try the shrimp, though. I'll probably try the jalapeno popper. I am scared of it, though, just because it looks weird. Jalapeno poppers, to me, are breaded. So this is just a uh, jalapeno with a bunch of cheese in it. But maybe it's good. It is, oh my gosh, it's really hot. Oh my gosh, it's super, super hot. Steve should, definitely should not try this. I probably won't eat any more of it, it's on fire. Yeah, it's a no-go for me. I'm glad you were the guinea pig because I would not be able to taste any of the rest of my meal. That's a no-go. If she says it's hot, then it is hot. Still burning your mouth? <laughs> She's over there, she can't breathe. She's like sucking down drink now. I'm gonna go ahead and try the rice. Um, it looks pretty red. It almost looks like Spanish rice to me, but it just looks more like red than normal. So I don't know if I'll like it. It's actually really good. It tastes like the Spanish rice that Steve used to get in like a packet. I can't remember the brand of it, but that's exactly what this tastes like, and it's really good. Actually, I think Steve will like it. Yeah, they really gypped us on the sour cream. We probably paid five dollars for each of these sides of sour cream, and it's just like a decoration of sour cream. Look, like look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but like, it's like they decorated the plate with sour cream instead of giving us sour cream. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of sour cream in this rice. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's got a lot of seasoning on it. Sour cream. Oh, let's go. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's a little bit al dente. I like it. Yikes. Man, this steak is like definitely well done. I mean, I can barely stick my fork in it. It's gonna be very tough and hard. I mean, it's it's very well done, um, which is good. That's the way we asked for it, but it feels pretty tough. Pretty good. Flavor of it's pretty decent, but honestly. It just tastes like a steak, like a very well done charred steak. I don't really taste any other seasoning on it at all. Like, there's no seasoning on this steak. I don't even taste really salt. Um, I just taste all I taste is char to be honest. I don't taste much else. Um, so it's okay. I think like the chicken is better than the steak though. I like the chicken. It's pretty. Look at the chicken. Look at this. See how burnt that is. Pretty good though. I prefer the chicken to the steak, but what I really want to try is the shrimp. Look at this sucker. I mean, that's a monster shrimp. Um, we'll see. Smells good. It's good. I didn't want. To, I didn't think it was going to have this much flavor because it did look like it had a lot of stuff on it. It's actually got a really good flavor. I don't know what the flavor, I guess it's a chimichurri sauce or something flavor. I'm having a hard time articulating what it tastes like. I don't know, but it's awesome. It's kind of like garlicky flavor, like a garlic shrimp. The only thing I will say is, uh, we're kind of eating all this stuff independently, but it did come with tortillas. Um, now they are freshly made corn tortillas. I'm more of a flour tortilla person myself. 
I know that corn tortillas are, uh, you know, they're a bit fancier, a bit more authentic, I think. Um, with a, maybe it's just more refined, a corn tortilla versus a flour tortilla. But one of the things I will say is the shrimp still has the tail on it. So in order to put it in my actual fajita, I take the tail off. So um, getting my hands a little bit messy. I mean, I guess you could do it with a fork. But. And then there's no real fajita vegetables with this thing. There's just one big giant, let me show you, onion. This is the only vegetable in the whole fajita tray. This giant onion. So I am going to just kind of chop some of this up and put it in. All right, so I'm going to attempt to make this um, fajita style like taco here. Um, but it's a really small tortilla, so it's, it's pretty small. See how little this thing is? I'm going to try doing what I normally do and put a little bit of rice on it. And I will do a piece of shrimp, which I have already taken the tail off of. And then I think on this side I'm going to do like a, a piece of chicken. So I'm going to get like two, you know, two sides of this thing. One side with the shrimp, one side with the chicken. I think I'll do a little bit of pico on here. A little bit more pico. And then I'll try to get some of this sour cream on here, but literally that's probably all the sour cream in the entire bowl. Right there. And you know I like a lot of sour cream. And then we got to add at least one piece of like a vegetable, some sort of onion. I forgot to put that on, so it's on the top. It doesn't look really that refined. All right, here we go. I made my little taco. It's got all the fixings in there. We'll see if it's any good. I do love shrimp in a fajita like type taco. I love shrimp tacos. It's not too bad. Yeah, overall, I feel like the shrimp is somehow getting lost with the uh, tortilla. Maybe the rice and the onion. I don't know, it, just, it kind of just tastes bland to me. I feel like I need a little bit of salsa or something on it. Um, but I'm going to try the chicken side now. We'll see if it's any if it's any better. The chicken was better. Yeah. The balance of the chicken just has like a stronger flavor, like a stronger char, a little bit like a, I don't know, just a better flavor of the chicken. I don't know how to describe it. It's really good. It kind of came through like the tortilla and the sour cream and everything. It worked out much better. It's pretty good. Overall, it's, this, is, this is not too bad. All right, so we're done eating and uh, we're hanging out. We, we came out to the lobby to kind of talk. It's really loud in that restaurant. Really loud. It's actually really loud in this entire hotel. And there's a lot of people here. I feel like everywhere we've been in this hotel, it's very loud. There's a lot of restaurants in this hotel. Yeah. Like a lot of restaurants and pit stops and things like that and like little cafes and there's an ice cream shop. I uh, might want to try that ice cream shop on the way out. Um, so, what'd you think? Um, overall? Overall, I thought it was quick. I think we were in and out like pretty fast. Um, the food was good. Um, the meat, I, I really liked just because they've made it well done. There's a, there was a lot of the food that lacked seasoning. Um, so, I did notice that. Um, will I be back? Probably not. <laughs> Probably no. not. Uh, mostly, I it. mostly I won't be back because it wasn't worth the price to me. No. For the Mex, I mean, it was definitely elevated Mexican food. I definitely got a sense for it being fine dining Mexican. You got a lot of food. But I will say, the thing that we got, which was kind of like fajitas, maybe we shouldn't have got that. Maybe we should have tried something else, but. I mean, there was like enchiladas and tacos. I feel like that would have been a mistake too. I feel like that if you really wanted to get elevated fine dining Mexican food, you would have had to have gotten one of the entrees that they offer, which is not really my kind of Mexican food. So if it, maybe if you're like really into like that type of Mexican food, this might be the place for you. For me personally, not my bag. Um, I will say the other thing is we usually get one meal to share, especially fajitas. We do like a fajitas for one and then we split that and share it. So the price is actually a lot more reasonable for us when we split it. Here, we split it, but it was for two. So, much. so with, much with the tip and everything, we, we both got a Diet Coke, and with the tip and everything, it was like $140 or something. Oh, we wasted so much food. 
there was a lot of food left over. I'm gonna throw a, a video up it because this is like some of the food that was left over that we didn't even eat. So I just did a little video recording of it. So for us, it didn't really work out because we usually share fajitas for one. I mean, overall, it was a better quality than the last Mexican restaurant we just ate at. What was the name of that one? Uh, Over at the Coronado Springs? Maya's. Maya Grill. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video, watch, I'll link to it below. Yeah, this is better. This, the, the, the quality of the food here was better. But bad. But, but I kind of feel like Maya Grill was... But the hotel was so much nicer. Oh, Coronado Springs for sure. Far I think the hotel is a lot nicer. Are we, are we, we've been here to the Swan and Dolphin. I've never really loved these hotels. I think they're kind of like supposed to be, try to be bougie, but it's not really. I, I'm more of like, I like the style of Disney hotels. Like just the style and flavor of them. And Apparently they just, these are Marriott's. I didn't know that. I yeah, that he did say Marriott. So, um, I mean, it's fine. It's just not, Yeah. I didn't think it was anything. It was, a, it was a one and done for me, but I'm glad we did it. Um, again, your taste may be different, but to me, it wasn't the food wasn't seasoned well enough. Yeah, so we just confirmed on the on the bill. We did we did get the guacamole for one, the single. We didn't get the we got I the classic. I thought for sure they gave us the double. We didn't get the double, and it was no, that no, no. big. It was 18 bucks was though. 18 bucks for guacamole. That's a lot. I think Antejito's table side guacamole is vastly superior, uh, and I don't think it's. It's pretty expensive there too, but I think it's a lot better. Um, they didn't charge us for the sour cream though, which I'm glad about. They charged us one cent for the sour cream. Let's see if I can show it there. There you go. One, right there, open food item sour cream. One penny is how much we charged for the sour cream. And it was $14 to sub the shrimp. We probably shouldn't have done that. The shrimp was decent, but it wasn't worth 14 extra dollars on top of what we were already paying. We didn't even really get it. But they were pretty decent. We had too much food. We had too much food. So anyway, uh, we've, we've droned, we've waxed Poetic long enough on this restaurant. It's <laughs> waxed Poetic. Um, I, uh, yeah, so we probably won't do it again, but let us know what you think if you have tried this restaurant and you like it or you've been wanting to try it. Uh, do you have other restaurant suggestions you want us to hit up? I'd love to try them. And if you do recommend a restaurant and you've been there before, recommend some of the dishes too, because I'd like to try them. So anyhow, that's all we've got for you. Hope you enjoyed this episode and be sure to tune in again next time. Hit that subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Until we see you, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.